Hello everyone, Silent here and welcome back to another Bedrock Edition tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to build a very simple, cheap, and easy beacon factory in your Bedrock Edition worlds. This beacon factory relies on the brand new 1.17 mechanics to turn a skeleton spawner into the simplest beacon factory you've probably ever seen. So as you can see, we just have a regular good old skeleton spawner that drops all the skeletons down into some powdered snow, and then after about 15 seconds, all of those skeletons will be converted into strays. Now strays of course can drop you some slowness arrows among other skeleton drops, however there is a bug in 1.17 that's been around for about three years now, and that is if you blow up the strays with a charged creeper, they will drop a wither skeleton skull. So this is incredibly easy to use, you simply AFK at your skeleton spawner for a while, throw a health potion at all of your strays, that will make them drop experience as well, and then you simply light a charge creeper and that will kill all of those guys for you, dropping a ton of experience and more importantly giving you an absolute ton of wither skeleton skulls. This farm will take you less than like 30 minutes to build and it will get you hundreds upon hundreds of wither skulls. This is your absolute last chance to ever use this farm in Minecraft because the next update right after 1.17 comes out will be fixing this bug. You have a probably a week or two to use this farm in your world. So if you're watching this video before 1.17 releases, start building this farm immediately and then finish building it in the 1.17 update. Use it as much as you can and profit. Also, because this bug is a very, very limited time offer, make sure to share around this video with as many people as you can, leave a like, do all that lovely things. I do have two other beacon factories going back nearly two to three years, and my best one can get you 72 wither skulls a minute. So this bug has been around for a while, it is absolutely nothing new. However, we're very, very fortunate that the powdered snow is being added for a single update in combination with this bug that allows us to use a regular skeleton spawner for this farm. So this farm is not going to be useless after they fix the Wither Skeleton Skull bug. You can just put a Trident Killer on this instead of a Blast Chamber, and then you'll have a good old regular skeleton farm that'll give you AFK experience, arrows, and slowness arrows along with bones. And let's hop into the tutorial, shall we? For your convenience, there's going to be a materials list in the description down below, so you know everything that you need to build this farm. The first thing that, of course, you need to do is find yourself a skeleton spawner. You can find these anywhere throughout the world and if you feel like it you can also use chunkabase.com to help you find one of these. So the first thing that we need to do is clear out the spawning room around this thing. We need a two block gap above the spawner and then the ceiling should be on the third block right there. We're just going to go ahead and place a slab on top of that for now. Obviously your room should also be lit up as you're building that way we don't get any skeleton spawning. The main spawning room here needs to be a nine blocks wide by nine blocks long and that should be in a diamond shape so if we measure this out that is four blocks in any direction from the spawner to all of the walls now we need to mine down the floor by an additional six blocks so there should be a six block gap underneath your skeleton spawner and that will ensure that all the skeletons that this thing spawns will drop out of the mob cap and they won't prevent more skeletons from spawning so this is where your main floor is going to be and now we need to choose where we want our skeletons to go. I'm going to push all of my skeletons into that wall right there. So we're going to remove these two blocks there and those two blocks right there. Remove the blocks that are in the floor and place in yourself three buttons right there to prevent the water flowing. We're also going to place in another water bucket right there a little bit later on to push the skeletons to the side and into our blast chamber. Turning around, we want to have one water bucket right here up on that edge. We're going to remove these three blocks right here, place in a water bucket there. Do the same thing on the right side, so remove those three blocks, water bucket there. You want to place in a water bucket on that layer right there, turn around to the left side, and another water bucket right there as well. And you should notice that there are no dead spots where the water is perfectly still, and all this water should be pushing the mobs directly into this little trough that we made earlier. Our spawning room is now complete, we will remove the torches at the end of the tutorial. And now it's time to install our conversion chamber to turn all of these skeletons into strays. So go into your little trough right here, we're going to remove these two blocks right here, and then mine downwards by nine blocks. Of course, you know, be careful, watch out for lava, all that good stuff. So one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then you're gonna wanna place in yourself a marker block on the floor, maybe put a torch on that as well, and then clear out a little bit of room around this area. This is where you're gonna be hanging out, this is where your blast chamber and your killing chamber are gonna be, and you'll also probably want some storage and item collection. Once you get some area cleared out, you need to know exactly where your skeletons are falling, and that is why we put down the marker block with a torch on top of it. So I would recommend mining all the way upwards until you see exactly where your skeletons come over. As you can see, I put a glass wall in front of this just so we can see exactly what we are doing. The first thing that we're going to do is break into this and put a button directly above our drop chute and that is going to prevent our future water from flowing over and destroying the whole thing. We're now going to go downwards onto the third block and place in our first powdered snow. As you can see there is a two block gap in here where a skeleton can stand. We'll come back to this later but for now we're going to put in an upper slab right there just so we can kind of see in there a little bit. Beneath this first powdered snow, we need to place in a cobweb and then one more powdered snow directly underneath that. And that'll take all of your skeletons about 15 seconds to fall through and every single one of your skeletons will get converted into a stray. Now the reason why we have this slab here is because sometimes these skeletons will be wearing leather boots. You'll get one every couple hundred skeletons approximately, so you can just come up here, kill them, and move on. And of course, anything wearing leather boots will not be able to fall through powdered snow. A really easy way to get powdered snow is to simply go to any cold biome where it usually snows, wait for it to rain in your world, and then it will be snowing in those cold biomes. Go ahead and place down a couple of cauldrons, and if those cauldrons have direct sky access, they will get filled up with powdered snow, and then once the cauldron is filled up, you simply click on that with a bucket, and that'll give you a bucket of powdered snow. There should be a four block gap between the marker block that you placed earlier and the lowest powdered snow snow as you can see one two three and four and that is perfect we are now ready to move on with the build and build up the blast chamber so the first thing that we're going to do is replace that marker block right there with a piece of obsidian and then we're going to go two blocks to the left of it as well just like so remove that block right there and then we're going to go up six blocks right here to the back side of this build with obsidian so two three four five and six and then you want to replace the five blocks of this wall of obsidian as well. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then you want a top block on top of that as well. We're now going to place another five blocks in front of this. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then on the back side, just completely fill that in with four blocks. So one, two, three, and four. And that should leave a two block gap right here where a charge creeper can be brought in via minecart and fall down into that hole. We're going to place in some obsidian on the back side of this build, replace that stone block, and then we need to replace these stone blocks underneath that powdered snow with some obsidian as well, just like that. Replace these wall blocks with obsidian too. And now we need to place in the front wall of obsidian right here as well. So that is the main blast chamber done. That thing will contain charge creeper explosions. However, if you're standing anywhere in this area, you're gonna die from the charge creepers. So we need to put in some blocks on the floor right here. We want two more obsidian there, four more in these locations, two more right there, two more right there, two there, and another two right there, and then finally two more in the floor, and that should create a little bit of a zigzag area where you have to actually walk in here, and then you get access to the blasting zone. So you would light your charge creeper and then go directly around the corner, and that will prevent you from dying from the charge creeper's explosion, and that will minimize damage to the surrounding areas as well. The final thing to do for our build is to go back inside of the spawning room and simply place in our one water bucket right there. That'll push all the skeletons off into our powdered snow converter and now is the dangerous part you need to remove all of the torches inside of this room skeletons will start spawning as soon as you start removing these torches so have yourself an exit plan and don't get caught in a trap keep in mind the player needs to be within 16 blocks of a mob spawner for it to spawn mobs and unfortunately with the way that this system is set up if you are afking down here at the very bottom ready to kill your mobs then your mob spawner is not going to be active as you can see it doesn't have any particles and the skeleton
skeleton isn't spinning around. So you can AFK pretty much anywhere you want as long as that mob spawner is going. You could AFK directly underneath this floor if you wanted to, and that would work perfectly fine. I would recommend AFKing for a little while, getting a couple hundred skeletons, and then blowing them all up with a single charge creeper. That way you get maximum bang. Speaking of charge creepers, I hope you have a couple laying around for this project because they can take a little while to acquire. Basically, all you need to do for your charge creepers though is get them into a minecart and onto a rail line. Make sure they never ever see you, otherwise they will try to explode and you'll have to hide behind a pillar to prevent them from seeing you and prevent them from fully exploding. Anyway, so get them into a minecart and then basically just make a rail line that goes into your blast chamber. Really nothing special about that at all. They will drop down and then once you have a nice stockpile from AFKing at your skeleton farm, you can throw a health potion at your skeletons. This will make sure that every single one of them dies from your charged creeper, giving you maximum amount of skulls, and it'll also make them drop experience too. Light the charge creeper, go around the corner and hide away. You'll get your experience and you'll get all of your wither skeleton skulls too. Now keep in mind, if any of the skeletons survive the blast, they can actually pick up your wither skeleton skulls and wear them, and a single skeleton can wear an entire stack. So if you didn't get any, make sure you actually kill the rest of the guys that are sitting there. As you can see from that little demonstration, we just got 30 wither skulls, and that is a pretty solid amount. However, I would recommend AFKing for a long time getting hundreds of strays and killing all of them at once with a single charge creeper. So I hope this farm serves you well in your world. If you play your cards right or maybe if you hold off from updating you can get an absolute ton of wither skulls more than you will ever 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 need in your entire Minecraft career and hopefully this little build serves you well even though it is kind of a limited time offer with a very very close expiration date. I hope that you can build this in your world and get a little bit of use out of it. At the very worst, you won't be able to get any Wither Skeleton Skulls from it, but you will have a nice little stray farm that you can use for the slowness arrows and of course for experience. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, of course let me know down in the comment section. I'm always trying to help you guys out as best as I possibly can. If you're new here, then consider subscribing so you don't miss more Bedrock Edition tutorials and 1.17 Caves and Cliffs content. I will see you guys down in the comment section and in the next one. Thank you so very much for watching. And then there was silence.